I'm standing in front of my 1978 116 chassis Mercedes-Benz. This is a milestone car. It has a very unique feature and the first year of production. And no, it's not a diesel for you diesel fans out there. There's something else. And I'm going to go ahead and open the hood and see if you can spot what I'm talking about. The first thing you're going to notice is that great big V8. And true, it's a 6.9, but 1978 was not the first year of production for a 6.9. What else that could there be in this engine compartment? Come over here and take a look right here. Does anybody recognize this? That's right, this is an ABS brake unit controller. And you're gonna think, 1978 ABS brakes. Yep, that's right. This was the first year production of the Bosch ABS brakes in a Mercedes Benz. Let's talk a little bit more about ABS brakes and the theory behind them. I have to admit, I feel real privileged to own this 78 Euro model 6.9. When I bought the car, I found out right away there were some really unique features to it, and of course I noticed the ABS brakes. And it wasn't until recently when I was redoing uh, the brakes on my 190E and trying to solve a persistent ABS problem that I discovered that this particular car was the first year of production for ABS brakes. Now, I know other cars had ABS or were experimenting with ABS before Mercedes-Benz, but it wasn't until Mercedes teamed up with Bosch and they were able to produce a reliable digital ABS controlling unit that ABS brakes became a reality in a production sedan like this. And they were available on Mercedes-Benz in the late 70s through 1984 as a very expensive add-on. And then in 1985, ABS started showing up in the United States on various Mercedes models. So I've learned a lot working on this 190E of mine. I hope you enjoy the video. Be sure and check it out, how I went about troubleshooting and solving a persistent ABS brake problem. And I'm even considering doing a more thorough video explaining more of the history and more of the theory about ABS brakes in the future. So if this is something that would be of interest to you, be sure and chime in and let me know.